Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for watching. In today's video, I am doing an updated pot roast video and I'm gonna use my slow cooker. So I'm cutting back on some of the salt-based spices, but I am using garlic powder, onion powder, salt, pepper, and Lowry's. So pretty much the same as last time, but a little bit less salt. I know this concerned quite a few people, so here you go. And now I'm gonna rub some olive oil on all sides of the roast and I'm using a chuck shoulder roast and it is about two and a half pounds. I don't have specific measurements for the amount of spices I use because it, it'll vary depending on the size of your meat. So I just made sure to do a light thin coat of each spice on the top and the bottom. And I didn't worry too much about the sides just because when I sear the sides in the pan in just a little bit, there'll be some spices that fell off and then I can pick it up that way. So just make sure you get a nice even coat. Don't skimp on the salt and pepper in my opinion because that's what helps get that nice crust as you'll see in just a moment. My pan is nice and hot, so I'm gonna add a few tablespoons of my olive oil and I just let that heat up for a moment. Not too much, because I don't want the oil to burn, but I wanna heat it up so it's gonna be ready to go for the meat. And here it is. I leave it on for a few minutes. Just, I just check it every now and then, every few minutes to see how well the searing is coming along. And this is probably after four or five minutes or so. You can see that it looks wonderful, it has a nice brownish crust on it, and then I just do the same to the sides and then um, to these sides as well. So both top and bottom, and then I hold it with my tongs, and then I just kind of rotate it around to get the sides because I don't want to leave that off. I like to have the crust kind of all over the meat. I put about a quarter inch of beef broth in the bottom of the crock pot and it is on low. You can use vegetable broth, water, whatever you have. It shouldn't matter too much. And don't forget about the drippings and all the other seasonings, the crusty pieces that were left on your pan. So I just add a little bit more broth to the pan and I just kind of scrape it around because I want to loosen it up and then I'm going to pour this over the roast in just a moment. But just be careful because it is still very hot and uh, just watch out that you don't splash it on yourself. And we're gonna cook this, I think total I used about five and a half hours on low. So it's 2.15 now and I checked it a few hours later and it was progressing really nice so I went another 30 minutes. So I believe it was about a total of five and a half hours. Now I'm gonna make my gravy. So I'm using organic flour. I'm using, I'm gonna start with a tablespoon, about a tablespoon and a half, and I'm adding it to warm water. I'm gonna mix this around till all the little clumps come out till it's nice and smooth because this is gonna help the um, gravy thicken a lot better without all those clumps. Now I'm gonna add a few ladlefuls of the juice from the crock pot. This is gonna give it so much good flavor and this is really the key to having a nice, good homemade gravy. I'm gonna stir that pretty well till the mixture with the flour and water kind of incorporates a little bit better and then I will add this to the same pan that we used to sear it. So don't wash it out right away. Continue to use it because it has a lot of good stuff still in it. Anything that may have missed from when you poured out the drippings originally. My pan has been warming up. I just have it about medium to low heat because I wanna cook this slow. I don't wanna burn it and I just wanna make sure everything just thickens up really nice. So if you want, you can add a little bit more flour later on if it's not the thickness you want. And I did this in just a minute, I'll show you. But first, again, I made the little mixture first so it wouldn't be clumpy. Pour it in and then just slowly stir it. And you can see over time that it thickens really nicely and it turns out perfect and it tastes great too. Here is the beautiful pot roast. I took it out on my plate so I could show you plus I was ready to eat and I am just pouring the gravy over it so you can see how nice it thickened, the beautiful color and this recipe is so so good. I promise you guys you will love it. If you really enjoyed the last one then you will like this one as well. It tastes very similar just you know with a little bit less salt and I didn't use a few of the other ingredients as well but thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy it let me know if you cook it and I'll see you in the next video bye guys